Wonder World, it's Blue Girl, and there's been a lot of things going on lately, so let me catch you up. First off, Daisy's been acting a little bit weird. So... So what? So, do you want to tell me anything? Anything that happened on Halloween? Uh... Come on, girly. You know I never did you. Anyways, when are you leaving for Glamnar? During the winter break. I can't wait. Don't worry, we'll video chat every day. So, when I get there... Oh, hi, Cassie. Hey, Farah. What you doing here? Oh, nothing really. Daisy, let's talk. All right, I'm coming. I'll be back in a few minutes. Oh, okay. See you later. Yep, so Daisy's been ditching me. It's all been happening since Halloween. I wonder what happened that night. Hey! Hey, let's hurry this up. Uh, you're the one who wanted to meet me. Alright, so let's talk about Jane. Oh gosh. I can't believe it took me this long to leave her. She manipulated me, and with her I've done things that I'm not proud of. That's why I left the friend group years ago. And Cassie, this is the chance to redeem yourself. Yeah. We have to follow through with the plan. We can't let her get away with this. Okay then, let's do this. Oh shoot. I have to meet my friends at the photo booth. Alright then, can we meet at lunch at school? Definitely. Ugh, she was acting like such a bad friend. So much so that I completely forgot about Jade and her scheming. What? Where has Cassie been? Haven't seen her around here lately. Why does it matter to you? We aren't really talking at the moment. Ah! I knew it. Knew what? Because of that lame and overdone blue blob joke you do, you're losing your popularity. You're no longer cute and funny for the joke. You're just sad and pathetic. What do you mean? You make fun of girls all the time. Yeah, but I don't drag it out to the point where it's extra and overdone. You freaking hired someone to make a video. I only do it long enough to get their reaction, but not so long that they might report me to the principal. Whatever. I'm graduating in June. And I don't want my legacy to be ruined by my annoying little sister. Maybe you don't want me to be better than you! Maybe I'm the cool one for once and you can't handle it. If you're so cool, where's your best friend? Meanwhile, something kind of predictable happened at drama. Hello? Uh... Where's Farah? I need to talk to her. Oh, you. Excuse me? Farah told me about you. Well, really, she told Daisy, who told Ellie, who told me. Doesn't matter. You hurt my frenemy's heart the day the video came out. Yeah... I just want to apologize. I'll tell her you stopped by. Thanks, Brad, for doing that. He was moving up in the friendship ranks while some other people were moving back down. So you got the stuff? What stuff? Cassie. Oh! Yeah, of course I got the screenshots. Daisy? What are you?
you doing here? Nothing. Cassie? Tell me what's going on here. Tell me that my best friend and my other friend are not hanging out without me when they both said that they were going to be busy today. since you have been ditching me lately. Daisy. Uh, yeah, let's go back to work. While those two were doing who knows what, Jade was having a secret meetup of her own. Miss Jane, what is so important that you just had to meet with me? Well, I just had to tell you that I'm being bullied. Oh, no. First Pharaoh, now you? That's the thing, Mrs. H. Pharaoh is the one who is bullying me. What? Yes, I don't know if it's because she's insecure or something, but she always picks on me, calling me a dumb little blonde girl. Then, after I told her I would tell on her, she comes up with this whole video thing. She's friends with Ellie. She hired her brother. She's the one who orchestrated this whole thing to make it look like she is the victim. And everyone believes her because she's the new girl with blue skin. I finally worked up to Kirk to say that enough is enough. So I came to you. With evidence. Well, I'll look over it. Meanwhile, I guess I have to hold an assembly about bullying now. All these accusations flying left and right. May Farrah Indigo please come down to the principal's office. Farrah Indigo, down to the principal's office. Yes, I was called down and Principal H was not too happy with me. And so was my Aunt Betty. She was so upset. Uh, Aunt Betty, are we leaving as soon as school ends, or, like, a little into winter break, or... I don't know if I should go to Glamnor with you anymore. What? I got a call from your school today. Farah. I thought you were better than to make fun of others. But I didn't make fun of Jane! Then what happened? I can't say... I didn't know why I couldn't tell her that I was being bullied. Meanwhile, Daisy kept on trying to talk to me. Farah, you can't ignore me forever. I can try. Girly. I'm sorry, okay? Me and Cassie like you. And you're my best friend. I'm just doing something that will benefit all of us in the end. But you can't be involved. No. If it was so important, then you would include me. I don't want to hear any excuses. And it turns out we weren't the only former BFFs meeting that day. Hey, you wanted to meet with me? Yes. Let's sit and chat for a bit. I'd rather not. I just want to get this over and done with quickly as possible. Why not just text me, then? I don't want you taking screenshots of our conversation. That, and I deleted your number. How could you? You're a manipulative liar who thinks only about herself. Anyone who is different, you automatically dislike. That's why you bully Farah, and that's why, when you found out Daisy's little secret, you bullied her to the point where she left our friend group. That was back in middle school. We're in 10th grade now. But you haven't changed since. It's taken me this long to realize how bad of a person you are. So I'm gonna be nice and give you one more chance. Go over to Vera's house and apologize to her. Tell the principal. Undo all your mistakes. I don't think I will. Well, that's too bad. I guess this is where our conversation ends. If you know Jade, then you know that she doesn't like being told she's wrong.
Anyway, speaking of meetups, I agreed to meet up with Roger. Yeah, that's right. We met at Couples Peak. And, uh, it was quite awkward. Mind if I sit? Oh, gosh. What? Just getting some deja vu. Well, I've never been here before with you. That must be you dreamt about this moment. Yeah, sure. Farah, you are the one for me. I'm sorry I left you during all this craziness. The whole video thing must have crushed you. But I've been thinking a lot, and if I could have another chance, I know we could make things right. No. What? I don't want Jane's sloppy leftovers. Jane? I haven't talked to her in weeks. You sure about that? Because on Halloween, I heard you say you wanted her to be your girlfriend. How? I was wearing the skeleton costume. What? That didn't sound anything like you. Oh, Roger. We're done. I'll miss you. Dude, we have math together, but okay. You know, we never kissed. I guess not. And that was the last time I saw Roger Smith. I met up with Ellie in the hallway and she told me some things. So, things good with you and Daisy? Don't remind me on how bad of a friend she is. You'd be surprised, Farah. She and Cassie are doing something big for you, and it will change everything. I don't know. <coughs> we better head to class. I'll catch up with you. I have to go to the bathroom. See ya. Oh, hey. Yeah. Sorry, liars make me tired. I can see why you're mad at me. But just wait until the assembly later. But I can explain now everything. You know what? I'm gonna trust you, Daisy. Because I want to believe you're telling the truth. Don't worry, I am. And she was right. Later that day was the anti-bullying assembly and a lot of shocking things happened. Students of Regularville High, it has been brought to my attention that there has been an increase of behavioral issues. This includes the incident in which a student was made fun of publicly due to where they are from. It has also been brought to light that this just might be a rumor. Oh jeez, she's talking about this. Before I say anything more, here is Cassie Davis with an anti-bullying video. You know, I could probably get away with anything. I mean, who could say no to this face? Even our dumb principal will believe anything I tell her. Heart? More like fart. <laughs> Jay, dear. Let's meet in my office. Now. Oh. I didn't do anything. Office. Now. All of you are dismissed to your regular scheduled classes. I met up with Daisy afterwards. Basically to say that I was sorry. So, you see what I was trying to do? Yeah, I'm sorry. Originally, we were gonna use screenshots, but then Cassie found that video and... A video for a video! But why keep this a secret? Why not let me help? Well, you post everything on your blog. Brad reads it, and he just spreads information. Oh, yeah. But I'm glad it's over now. Maybe Jan will stay away. Don't grab my hand. Sorry, I just thought it would be a good time to, you know, like, uh, uh...
Don't say sorry, girly. Later that day, we all met up at Joe's Pizzeria to just hang out and celebrate. Hey, hey! Party at my place to celebrate my sister's grounding. Uh... You know what they say about her parties. Yeah, exactly why I wouldn't want to go. Yeah, I'm with Ellie. Yeah, sorry, Joanne. We're gonna have ourselves a party right here. Okay, well, if you want, you can stop by. Oh, jeez. If you want to go, you can go. Nah, I'll stay here for now. Okay, now what were you saying about pickle juice? Tell them. Guys, she doesn't believe me, but it actually works! Uh-huh, sure it does. We had fun that night and ended up staying until they closed. Then it was time for me to go back to Glabnar. See you soon. See you! We'll be there soon. I've loved my friends on Earth, but I couldn't wait to go see my family and friends on Glabnar. Breathe that fresh Glabinarian air. I've missed it so much, and it's great here. And I decided to reflect on my time on Earth and take a little rest. This is Blue Girl, signing off.